Hey, this is Keith Kills. Uh, I can't even say my name today. This is Keith Kills with How to Build Your Own Home. I want to give you a quick tip with regard to breaking ground, soils and water uh, content in the soils. It's a big issue at certain times of the year. Uh, here, I put a sprinkler up at the top of the pad you see up there, and I got a hose down here, and I'm going to run that over the weekend. I've got an excavator coming later this uh, next week. And we have not had water here for about 84 days. So I'm very worried about soil content in the soil. I'm here meeting a subcontractor. <clears throat> uh, he's gonna talk about a block wall. I'll be talking with him about that. That's why you hear the noise right there. But just a big issue I wanted to kind of reiterate. If you break ground in late fall, early spring, that's great. You're gonna have a lot of soil content and water from the rains and snows and what have you. But I have not had water here for quite some time. And in order to pass compaction tests, I need to get this soil wet. Uh, if you take some sand or any kind of dirt from any particular area and it hasn't had any um, water, rain for quite some time, try to compact that. You're not going to be able to do it. That's why we need to, the water in the soil. So I've got a sprinkler head up here. I'll run that over the weekend. I need to get down three, four feet. That's going to help immensely. I've seen a lot of excavators show up. One guy, and he's in the track hoe, but it's all dust everywhere. And he's trying to compact that soil with no water in the, in the soil. And he gets out of the track hoe, wets it down, gets back in the track hoe, moves it, compacts it. Very slow moving, very costly. If you want to circumvent that, make sure you get your proper compaction test. Get some water on it. Run it through the night, through the weekend. They're going to love you for it. And my excavator is going to really, really appreciate that. I could talk a lot about this. I want to walk you through this job site as we go. Uh, and before you even start breaking ground, talk with your neighbors, get to know them. Uh, I'm not the owner on this job site, I'm the builder, but I did meet with a neighbor next door and I did meet with a neighbor next door there. Met with them, dropped off my card. They were really appreciative of that. So much so, the one neighbor is gonna help pitch in on a wall. You want that. The first thing you want to do is make nice with neighbors. It's going to go a long way. Just don't go neighbors. Look on the door, drop off a piece of paper and say, hey, I'm building a house here next door. My name is this. Here's my contact. If you have any issues, give me a call. Anyway, tips all the time. Again, this is Keith Kelsch with How to Build Your Own Home. See you next time.